I talked recently with Peaches Jensen of Peachtree Financial about refinance issues that my clients may have when they're trying to refi a home during divorce process and what they should be doing or what they should not be doing while that uh, process is pending. Now, when couples are going through a divorce and dividing the home, maybe they are going to refi or sell the home, but what kind of pitfalls or what kind of scenarios have you seen uh, couples go through that could hurt their chances of a refi? So before we start the refinance process or even a purchase process, I usually consult with them and advise them what they, sh they should or should not do before and during the loan approval process. The most uh, common mistake people think is that once they have a loan approval, they are now free to go out and rack up their credit card debts. They can go out and buy new furniture, new rug, new car even, and, and that could really hurt them on the approval. Even though it's approved, but keep in mind that a lender will pull what is called a soft credit report during the process. They want to make sure that nothing drastic has changed on your credit report. If they see that your debts have gone up or your credit score, it went from let's say 750 down to 700, then they know something drastically just happened during the process. And then they will what we call a hard pull credit report they will pull that credit report and they're going to see, oh my goodness, you got a new car, your credit uh, card balance was $100 and now it's $10,000. And that could really make your approval decline. Oh, yeah.